Earlier this week, the U.S. Supreme Court asked for more time to decide on Texas Senate Bill 4, which would effectively give law enforcement the ability to detain and in some cases deport undocumented migrants based solely on their immigration status. That signals the nation's high court is taking this case seriously, but where it will rule is no guarantee, though two recent court cases could give a clue. As the U.S. Supreme Court sits on Texas sweeping immigration law, Senate Bill 4, Texans are gearing up for the polarizing new law's possible implementation. If the court doesn't rule the law unconstitutional, as soon as next week, Texas law enforcement officers could begin arresting undocumented migrants based solely on their immigration status, a role that historically falls to the federal government. I think the court is going very carefully. If my interpretation is right, they're looking to take time in order to form not only the right decision, but one that is cohesive and has more than just 5-4 or even 6-3. Republican supporters of the bill, including the top officials in the Texas government, have said they believe the Supreme Court will rule in their favor, particularly given the conservative majority among the justices. I hope some of the Supreme Court justices are watching because they could lift this day this week and let this become law. We have a right in Texas yeah. to defend our people. But two recent Supreme Court cases could signal where the court stands today on issues of state versus federal jurisdiction. The more obvious one, the Supreme Court's decision to allow the Biden administration to cut up razor wire put in place by Governor Greg Abbott's Operation Lone Star. But another key case, the unanimous decision rejecting states from blocking former President Donald Trump from ballots. And in the Trump case, they have to follow federal election law. You cannot have a patchwork of states making their own you know, procedures and following whatever they want in terms of federal election law. And so it's very similar. You have to have a uniform immigration law. Though anything is possible, even the possibility that the court could ask for more time to decide the fate of Senate Bill 4. The court's stay on SB 4 is set to end Monday afternoon at 4 o'clock central times. That means SB 4 would take effect unless the U.S. Supreme Court rules it to be un constitutional. From inside the Texas State Capitol, Michael Atkinson, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.